sorry, I had a little incident. This is take two of the 2v2t video I'm making. This is the bedrock version of the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, which has over 150 players active every day. And yeah, I do use hacks. Here's my hack client. Yeah, I have most hacks enabled, but there are some that break the game. I will not be doing a tour of my base until I can get those coordinates off my screen because currently right now I cannot like get these damn coordinates off the screen and it's kind of annoying. I mean I can mute chat but that just makes the coordinates easier to see. But anyways, I managed to get 160k out from spawn which does glitch the game a little bit. But the topic of today's video is the boat glitch that I found. Now this boat glitch let you glitch out entire uh, chunks and it can also let you lag the game now this glitch what it does how you do it is you essentially get below the water let me turn off walk on water real quick I'm gonna get below the water and you wanna like set a home down here using the slash set home command now I've already did this using and I named it glitch so what I do is you after that you get out of you get out of the uh, you get out of the area preferably with that chunk that you were just in like you want to make sure that the per place reset the boat is out of render distance because if it is in render distance then this kind of sort of boat lag machine will not work so I have my render distance set low because I have a kind of an old well not an old phone but a it's an $80 phone, so it's not really the best. It has 2 gigs of RAM. So yeah, let me get out of the render distance of that area that I was just at. Alright. So right about here. Alright, I'm confident that I'm away from the... Okay, yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to place your boat down like this. Now there's a glitch on the server where any boat that you have will, will revert to an oak boat. Anywho, what you want to do is you want to get in the boat by long pressing it. And then you want to do slash home and then you want to teleport to the home that you were just at. So slash home glitch, which is the underwater home that you set. Once you do that, you will be teleported to this weird spot where it'll it won't render at all. You can crouch and do whatever. What you want to do now is you want to keep spam clicking walk on water. What this will do is client side you won't you won't be able to drown because there's n no chunks rendered. However, doing this server side will make you keep floating up and down rapidly, ultimately lagging the server. Now, this will also make you invincible while you're in the water server side, which could be useful. However, bad news to that is that uh, you can't really defend yourself like you can't see what what people are around you because the chunks aren't rendered so yeah so anyways what you want to do from here is you want to teleport back you want to do slash home 160k the chunks are rendering pretty slowly well they take a while my home was right down there right Now, this does lag the server a lot. It's best to do it near spawn, and I and I did cause some issues with my base doing this. Like, there were fucking pieces of other people's base teleporting to my base. I would show it, but I don't want to fucking leak my base. Uh, here it is. This is not my base, but uh, I think this is glitched. Yeah, this is glitched. The all these are supposed to have food in them. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's not even doing anything. It's completely just lagging. Good god. Yeah, that's definitely a glitch. The server is under a lot of lag already, but doing the boat glitch does actually increase the amount of lag 
I think it's an integer overflow glitch with the way Spigot works on Bedrock. I only find my damn boat. I think my boat disappeared actually. Make a new one. If you, in case you're wondering why my axe is a is enchanted in Chinese, it's because it's a kit on the server, pretty much. Do I already have a crafting table? No, I don't. Okay. I need to make a boat. Make another stupid shovel. Oh, for some weird reason, whenever you place a spruce or any boat down, it gets reverted to an oak boat. That also, uh, you, you can actually set boats on fire, and they actually do take damage. That's another side effect of this glitch, is that every boat that you use after you do this glitch will take, f like, fall damage and whatever. Which is cool because you won't take fall damage yourself if you actually fall off a cliff. I'm gonna see how well this boat works under laggy conditions. Yeah, it works, but how well does it work in water? I do have walk on water enabled, so. Yep. <sighs> Alright, that works. Apparently my head was getting into a block right there. Um, to prove to you guys that this actually works, I'm actually going to set a new home down underwater. To prove to you guys that this in fact does work. I'm going to turn off my, my walk on water hacks. I'm going to go under here. Okay, my home was updated. So you see my bubbles, right? You see my bubbles up there? It says I was about to drown. I'm going to take a look at this. As soon as I get outside this run chunk's render distance, the same glitch that I did earlier would happen. And the reason this lags the server is again because it's a buffer. It's an in either an integer overflow or a buffer overflow glitch. I think it's chunk overlay because when boats are teleported outside of the user when they're on them, this bug occurs in the Java edition of the game as well. The boat would actually glitch out on the Java edition in like Twitch. But on the Bedrock Edition, since it's coded in C code, uh, and C code is notorious for integer overflows and buffer overflow exploits, instead of it doing that, it actually glitches out the server and lags it due to uh, overlapping code. Now, the Bedrock Edition of the game was actually a modified version of the Alpha version of the Java Edition of the game. It was just recoded in C, and actually has some Alpha aspects still to it. Which is one big reason why it's really hard to play Java Edition with the Bedrock Edition. But anyways, put that aside. Let's let's uh, do this glitch. This could also be an invincibility glitch if you want it to, but you really can't do anything about it if someone goes near you. It's like they'll see you underwater, but you can't really do anything. Huh, that's weird. I got damaged. It's super weird, but... Yeah, I'm underwater right now. I don't drown at all. There's no bubbles coming up. And I'm wondering what would happen if you'd actually stay underwater. Like, would you die and duplicate your items? Like, I'm still, like, researching this glitch. I will let you all know if uh, other things happen with this glitch, but it is a neat glitch, as it does lag the server tremendously. As you can see, no chunks are rendering at all. So let me go back to where I just was.
But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you all like. If you do, please subscribe. If you don't, you can dislike it if you want. There will be an Among Us video tomorrow. Probably a hacked gameplay. And there is a new Among Us version coming out soon, which will, which I will code a new Among Us hack for. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Expect an Among Us video tomorrow. I upload every week, Monday and Tuesday, if possible. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one.